Today, I'm going to walk you through three questions on system of equations that have no solution or infinite solution. Pause the video and see which one you need help with and hit the description box below if you want to jump to a specific problem. We got no time to waste. Let's go. This first SAT question, I'm going to make it a level one. It's super easy. Keyword right here is infinitely many solutions. And from what we talked about, infinitely many means the coefficients next to the X are the same. The Y's are the same and your constants are the same. So look at A. I mean, you can tell that that's not gonna be infinitely many because this and this is positive and negative. They gotta be the same so we can cross off A. B, the constants are different, so that could be crossed off. Look at C, we can't really tell yet because we can multiply the equations by something and eventually get the same number. So we'll skip C for now. For letter D, there is nothing that I can multiply both of these equations by to get the same number. For instance, if I try to get six, right? And I multiply this by two and this by three. There is nothing that I can ever do to make the numbers the same because I'm gonna end up getting six X plus nine Y equals three. And the bottom is gonna be six X, but the Y's won't be the same and we can cross off D. There is no time to second guess yourself on the SAT, so you have to tackle it with process of elimination. But if you really want to know why C works, let's take the top equation and multiply that by six. Do not do this on the SAT though, there's no time for it, but just for the people that love math like me, here's the real reason. Six over two is three, three times one is three X, 6 over 3 is 2, 2 times 1 is negative 2y, and 1 times 6 is 6. You can see that this equation matches the one right below, and that is why it is infinitely many. Let's move on to a level 2 question. And if I saw this question, I just target the fractions right away. I try to get rid of those right away to make my life easy. So I'm going to multiply first the top equation by 2 and the bottom equation by three. Simplify that below and I end up getting four X minus Y because two times negative a half is just negative Y equals 30. And the bottom equation, I'm going to get three AX. Same reason, the one third is going to cancel. I'm left with negative Y equals 30. And look at the equation right here. The SAT does this on purpose. They're not gonna give you overly difficult problems because you're budgeted about a minute per problem. They're not gonna make you go too crazy. The 30s are the same. The Y's have the same coefficient of negative one. So all we need are for these two to be the same. The coefficient in the red equation is really 3A and I need to make it into a four somehow. And don't try to do this in your head. You could just set up a simple equation we could just set up four equals three a and to get a divide it by three and you got your answer my friend my answer is four thirds if you plug in four thirds in this expression right here that will make it four x and that is the answer to the question last practice right here in the system of equations above a and b are constants x and y are variables the system of equations have no solution, what is the value of a, b? Here's the hard way to do it. Let's call this red, right? And in the red equation, we're gonna solve for y. That's just subtracting ax on both sides. I get negative y equals negative ax divided by negative one, and I get y equals ax. Let's solve the blue equation for y as well x minus by equals 1 subtract x i get negative by equals negative x positive 1 divided by negative b i get y equals 1 over b x minus 1 over b in a no solution it doesn't matter what the constants are but i do need to make these two values the same and like the previous question, if I'm trying to make something the same, I can just set up a simple equation. A equals 
1 over b. To get the value of a times b, I can just multiply this by b and I get a b equals 1. So this is a hard question. It usually shows up on the last portion of the SAT when there's no multiple choice. Take a look at this. In order for it to be no solution, the coefficients next to the x's have to be the same, the coefficients next to the y's have to be the same, and the constants have to be different. The coefficient for x is 1, so I would say a equals 1, and the coefficient next to the y is 1, so b equals 1, and a times b equals 1. It works for this problem. That's how I would do it if I had no time. So either way works, but I'm not sure if this is a legit way. Oh, we got the same answer. Anyways, hope you do well on your SAT and you keep practicing. If you need any more help, I will try to make as many questions as I can before the real test. But until then, I will see you on the next episode. Peace.